In tonight's Patriot Report, a grumpy baker is on a mission fighting for freedoms and liberties for all Americans and trying to raise awareness about what's happening in this country right now. His name is Kevin Conzo, and he's road tripping from his home port, if you will, or town of Dallas, Oregon, all the way to New York City. Why? Because he's fighting for you, the millions of Americans who've been silenced, who've been booted out of their jobs for standing up for their medical liberties. He's making a documentary about this journey and his trip across the country as he meets amazing Americans and wants to tell their story. Now, throughout his road trip, he's been posting videos on social media, and we had him on the program a while back. It wasn't anything about this road trip, but it was about a video that went viral where he had an encounter with, of course, OSHA. Remember him? OSHA's going around his town and other places around Oregon and other cities, making sure people are following the vaccine mandates. So that's kind of how he got popular and famous was that video. But then he set out on this journey. Here's a little bit about what he had to say on Instagram about his new mission. I'm heading towards New York City to stand with the many Americans that are giving up their livelihoods for what they truly believe in. I'm risking everything I have on a mission to prove that America is not as divided as they'd like us to think. We get bombarded with divisions on race, divisions on economic standing, division on politics, division on vaxxed, non-vaxxed. We the people will never be divided, and I'm proving that, and I'm putting it together in a documentary at the end. So follow along as I head to New York City in a beat up 1991 Ford pickup truck. <laughs> I love it. So simple, yet so poignant for the times. Kevin Conzo, or as he's known to social media folks, because we love handles here, he's the grumpy baker, but he's really not. Underneath that grumpy baker hat is this sweet, nice man named Kevin. Kevin, welcome back. Um, where are you in America right now as we speak? Right now, I am in Manhattan, Kansas, the little, uh, little apple. The little apple of Kansas. I didn't even know there was a Manhattan. The little apple of Kansas. I didn't know there was a Manhattan, Kansas. I didn't know there was a Dallas, Oregon until you and I met. Um, <laughs> when did this journey start for you? Because I remember we had you on a few weeks ago when that video went viral uh, of you not only standing up at your place, but at other folks' businesses where OSHA was coming in and acting like Nazis and trying to shut people down. So when did you, one, come up with this concept and then hit the road in that old pickup truck? Well... I think this began about 10 days ago. Hmm. Um, I had wanted to go and uh, meet some of the supporters and stuff. And the biggest thing is they were saying, keep fighting, keep standing. And I was thinking to myself, well, how best can I do this? Well, then I got shadow banned on Instagram. So I said to myself, you know what? They're not going to shut me up. And I realized that there's many people across the country who've been silenced. We used to be the silent majority, but now we are the silenced majority. Mm. Um, so that's my goal, is to get their voices heard. Did I see in Colorado, you were hanging out with a TV star that I grew up with, and many folks my age and older, if they remember the show Silver Spoons, you were hanging out with Ricky Schroeder, another patriot to this country. Yes, you did. I spent two days on his ranch in Colorado, and we had some good fireside conversations. Um, he is a great patriot. Um, he's standing up uh, for what he truly believes in, and I respect that man totally. Um, yeah. So I gather by watching your videos, because I've been catching up and watching as many as I can, you're staying off the beaten path. You're not doing the freeways and the massive cities. You're doing the heartland of America in the states you're crossing. How many states will you cross? How many cities will you stop in by the time you get to New York City? Do you have a plan laid out, or are you just going, I'm going that way? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I have a woman, uh, Dawn, at timetogetaway.net. She's helping me plan the route, but I'm only like two or three days ahead, and it's completely we the people. Uh, putting my faith in the, the, the people that follow my, my page and the people of this country, and I'm going where the wind blows me, heading towards New York. Um, and then I'm going to be going down towards uh, to Florida and across the Freedom States and then up California. Maybe I'll run into you in person. Maybe you will. You swing into San Diego where the OAN headquarters is, and I'll tell you what, uh, I've got to check with the boss, but I'm pretty sure 
We'll put you up as long as you promise to bake us something. Yes, I will bake you some cookies. <laughs> you do you do chocolate chip cookies, and they're close to grandma's, and you got a free place to stay. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That's I that. appreciate that. You know, it's interesting. Um, I've been seeing you've been getting orders from across the country since that first OSHA video you posted, right? Folks from like even Hawaii and Alaska to Ohio, Florida, uh, New York, everywhere. They've been ordering your baked goods, haven't they? All over. I've been getting tons of support. And since I left on this mission or movement, um, I've been getting tons of support as well through my website and, and whatnot. I mean, we the people are frustrated. We the people are grumpy. And we're standing <laughs> up. Who's running uh, the shop, by the way? Who's doing the bacon back in right. Dallas? Right. I have a baker and my wife. She's mailing out orders. Okay. Yeah. So it's mom and pop, but pop's on the road. So, but they're still getting the orders yeah. out. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because I, I, ever yeah. since we had you on, people, yeah. I've had family members order from you since then. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being from Boston, I'm, uh, I'm being coins the modern day Paul Revere, <laughs> which is nice because that's my, my goal is to wake America up, you know, and. It's working. Yeah. You should get, I saw the, the 1991 Ford pickup truck, by the way, that literally says on the side of the door, I think it says the Grumpy Baker, right? Or does it say Kevin's Daily Bread? But what does it say? Uh, it says Kevin's Daily Bread. Okay, the, right, uh, right. The okay. Grumpy Baker. But there it is. The thing, I've gotten, I've gotten two flat tires on the road. Uh, I had to uh, get an oil change and stuff like that, but she's running, she's running really good. She's still making her. I love it. I mean... No planning, folks, no budget, no sponsor or backup. Kevin just decided to hit the road and try to make a difference. Yeah, you should start screaming, the liberals are coming, the liberals are coming, since you're the new <laughs> Paul wonder, Revere. Especially after what, what happened today. You know, we've been fearing these things that uh, we say, and, hey, if they're chipping away, they're chipping away. And what does the president do today? But the, the January 4th mandate for private businesses. Uh, we need to stand up soon yeah and, I know. you know put an end to this nonsense. are you gonna try and make some sort of ceremonious end to the trip around that day are we trying to get done in december or january or how long is this trip going to take you this trip's probably going to be about a month i'll probably be back on the west coast by then uh the goal is to put it in a documentary yeah. that way these voices cannot be silenced you know they, they can ban my account they can shut my me down but if if it gets published into a documentary, uh, it's kind of hard to quiet quiet that. Yeah, yeah. I'll do what I can to help publicize it once you get it all edited up. I can't wait to hear and see um, the stories of these everyday Americans that are out there working hard, trying to make a living while you have tyrants putting in these ridiculous mandates that make it difficult for them to just earn a living. It's, it's insane. Uh, I got to run Kevin, the Grumpy Baker. But if folks want to help you on the journey, because I know you're, you're not a rich man. You're just a guy that bakes some no. really good cookies. <laughs> and you're doing this mission in an old truck. And I've watched them. Yeah. I've seen your stories. I'm, I'm confident you're not making any of this up. This thing, it's broken down. You're staying where you can stay. You're doing this on a very thin budget. So if folks want to help That's you out, correct. how do they do that? They can go to kevinsdailybread.com. Uh, there's a support the journey link there. And um, also, I am staying with people in their homes, um, trying to a majority of the way. I've already stayed with four or five people, Ricky, one of them, uh, that support what I'm doing. And, and that's where you get those conversations going. Yeah. You learn the true people and the true spirit of America. Couch surfing across the USA. The Grumpy Baker. <laughs> Look him up. Help him out. I cannot wait to see, again, what all of these Americans had to say when this documentary comes out. Uh, best to you. Again, if you get to SoCal, you know how to get a hold of us here at OAN. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate yep. it. Take care.